In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to export your 2D character from Photoshop into Godot uh, and prepare it to be rigged in order, in order to create animations for your 2D platformer video game. I have this character here in Photoshop, and before it is exported into Godot, the file must first be properly prepared. This means merging all the Photoshop layers for each of the character's body parts into single layers. Since my file here has, was already clearly organized into groups for every limb, it was just a matter of merging these groups. With that done, we're going to create what is called a texture atlas, which is a single file containing all the key objects necessary to rig a 2D character. To do this, we rearrange the body parts across the canvas, which is at the size of 1000 by 1000 pixels, in such a manner that none of the objects are overlapping. And before exporting the .psd file, the Photoshop default file, we must first make sure that the background is transparent before saving the file as a PNG and exporting it into Godot. Let's drag and drop the files we've created off our character. So first we've got an atlas as well as a combined image of the character, which will be used as a reference. So we drag and drop them into our desired folder inside of Godot. For me, it's over here. And once the files have been added, you can create a new scene, a new scene, and uh, as a root node, press Control A to, to add a character body 2D node at the top of your file. At the moment, you're going to have an error, which for now we should just ignore. We can drag and drop the the, the reference image into our scene so that when we can when we draw our characters individual body parts we have a reference at the bottom uh, to in order to arrange the file appropriately with the character body 2d added we add a new node a new node 2d which is simply acting as a container for our polygons so we will rename this one into polygons and add a new child object a polygon 2d the polygon 2D can be renamed into, first of all, the torso, because I'll be drawing the torso first. And, um, and in order to do this, at the moment, as you see, there's no, no texture attached to this polygon. However, over here in the inspector, you've got several different options. And what you want to select first is the texture. So inside of the texture, it's currently empty. And we can just, again, drag and drop the Atlas texture, PNG, into the texture input. Nothing is showing up uh, even still, so to, to fix this, we'll open the UV editor here at the top. So you can see it, it displays the, the atlas that we've created inside of Photoshop, and here at the top we've got various different options uh, for uh, that we can select. UV points, polygons, and bones. At the moment we're not concerned with the UV or the bones, uh, which we'll get to later. However, for now we're using the points. So when you click on points, it's, it adds another set of uh, options and we select the first one, which is uh, to create a new polygon or a new draw a new point. So the object we're currently concerned with is the torso over here. So this is quite a complex shape and it might not really apply to most of your uh, characters. However, for the sake of this tutorial, it's, it's good enough. So we'll simply draw around by left clicking surrounding the, the object at various different points. Um, and then once this is done, if we press OK, the object should, should appear inside of our editor. However, this isn't enough. What we need to do is create is turn these points into a polygon, into a, a almost a, a 2D plane inside of a 3D space, because that's how Godot works. So we once again open the, uh, the editor, and we could just straight away jump into the polygon editor and start using this pencil, so you see the options there are less, and draw on to these points all around until it creates a polygon. However, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is go back to the points editor and create a new internal vertex. To do this, we'll just click here in the center, and this is going to simplify the process, and it's going to create a better, um, better geometry for our character in case we want to um, animate it so that the, the torso squishes or deforms in any capacity. So to do this, we just, now we can draw these triangular shapes that always converge into this central, into one central point.
Before we go any further, I would just like to explain the importance of using triangular and quad faces instead of n-gons, which are faces with five or more vertices. Um, here you see on this diagram just the variety of different options you have when creating polygons, starting with a vertex to a line, a triangular face, which is typically ideal, or a quad where necessary, and you would like to avoid creating polygons with more than five vertices, also known as n-gons, as they create common deformations when animating and rigging your character. In this character example, the arms have a joint at the elbow. So when you rotate the, uh, the joint, the elbow joint, uh, there is typically be a deformation. And this is where uh, the setup of our, of our polygons becomes very important. So let me open my left arm over here and open the UV editor. As you can see, the nodes have been set up so that there is a large congestion of, no of, of points at the joint, including several different um, internal vertices in order to create quad faces and triangular faces as often as possible so that when the joint is moved, uh, it creates a minimum deformation like, like in this animation here. Now, once again, just as we've done for the torso, we'll create a, another polygon 2D Make sure that it's a child of the polygon 2D node at the top uh, and rename it to whatever object you're going to be adding into your scene next. For me, it's the left arm, so I'll be naming it arm L. Make sure to, to keep the nomenclature very clear um, so that when you add the bones, the names can be matching to the corresponding bone, much like I've created in this existing character. So for example, the arm L in this case is called arm capital letter, letter L. And then the uh, corresponding bone is also named arm L. So with the arm L selected, we add the texture once again by drag and dropping the atlas into the texture input. With that, the UV editor at the top here should appear so we can open open the editor. And when we, try, when we trace around this arm, we must know where the joints are. In this case, there are no joints. So it's going to be quite a simple process of just trying to keep the points down to a minimum. So I'll start here. Uh, and generally you want to try and make the, the points uh, mirrored on both sides. So as you'll see here, I'm now going to create a point which corresponds to the point that I've just created earlier. And once again, over here at the sleeve and again at the turn and then one final one. So as you can see, these points correspond, these points correspond. So do these, these, and the final ones stay singular. And we can then add some inner, uh, inner vertices at points where it might make it easier for us to create triangular polygons. So let's see, over here approximately, and one more over here. I think now if we go into the polygon tab, we should be able to create some pretty simple geometry, start over here, and then just triangulating it as much as possible to keep it very simple. Now that we're, we've got the arm in the scene, we can once again just drag and place it into the correct position so, so that it overlaps with the reference image. I'll now show you a time lapse of my process for creating the rest of the geometry and the polygons for the other shapes uh, by speeding up the video and just letting you see how I, I compose the character. So now that we've set up our polygons appropriately and arranged them according to our reference, we can get rid of this reference. I'll just show it here and delete it. So delete node, I'm also deleting it from my project as I no longer need it for the rest of the, 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 rest of the process. And uh, I'll quickly, just, just in order for you to understand the scene, I'll add a skeleton 2D node below below our polygons and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to add bones and arrange them according to your, your body parts.
Thank you for watching.